Welcome back to Utah Trikes. I'm Davey, and we here at the shop have been decoding the complicated world of the pinion internally geared hub, breaking it down piece by piece to find the best way to explain how this top of the line hub works and the ways that you can implement it into your trike riding experience. We've got a lot to talk about today, from the inner workings of the hubs and how it compares to a rear gearing hub like the Roloff 14 speed transmission, all the way to an upcoming model that will change the game. So let's get into it. Here at Utah Trikes, we rant and rave about one of our favorite internally geared hubs, the Roloff. But there's one hub that doesn't get enough love, and that's the Pinion. The Pinion is an internally geared hub that is a contender for the highest quality hub in the cycling game. The Pinion is modeled after proven automobile transmission technology, utilizing evenly spaced gears inside of the hub. These gears are specifically paired with corresponding cogs that all work together to deliver a very wide range of internal gearing. The Pinion comes in four different gearing setups for a wide range of gearing options. These setups are 6, 9, 12, and 18 speeds. That's a 295% gear range at the lowest model and a whopping 636% gear range on the 18 speed, which is the largest gearing range on the market. What that means is that this 18 speed hub has the highest high end and lowest low end of any hub gearing that you can buy meaning you can go faster with more resistance and slower with less resistance. And you can't get that level of range anywhere else. The Pinion brings the smoothest internally geared hub experience to the table with their Real Gear Zero Overlap design, providing a large range of models for any type of ride that you want, as well as the most expansive gearing range to date. Despite all of this, you may be wondering why the Pinion isn't as talked about here at Utah Trikes, and that's because it's a unique case of an internally geared hub. Compared to other hubs, we can see that they are mounted differently. A roll-off and an enviolo are both hubs installed into the rear wheel, replacing the rear gearing on a trike, whereas a pinion replaces the front gearing of a trike and is mounted right at the pedals. This unique mounting position gives the pinion some unique challenges and included benefits. As some of you may know, an internally geared hub is usually mounted inside of the rear wheel, specifically mounted inside to replace the rear gearing. When a hub like this is inserted into the wheel, it creates a sturdy design, but is very difficult to remove. If you ever want to swap your rear wheel through either an upgrade to a different wheel or just having multiple wheels for different riding conditions, you're either going to only have your roll-off on one of your wheels or have a roll-off for every wheel that you own. This is a hassle and quite costly if you go the multiple roll-off route. With a pinion, this is not the case. As you can see, the pinion is mounted separate from any of the wheels and just replaces the front crankset, which is where your pedals are. This setup makes tire swapping or hub replacement a heck of a lot easier. Installing a pinion is usually much easier as well. When you order a roll-off install kit from anywhere else, they would just send you the hub and other components and tell you good luck. You would need to thread the roll-off into the wheel, which is very time consuming and is a pain to do, just ask our mechanics. With a pinion, when you order your install kit, all you have to do is install your new hub onto your pinion specific boom that came with your kit and then hook it up to your gearing. You avoid a lot of the hassle that comes with your standard hub upgrade this way, uh, but there is something to note. Here at Utah Trikes, we do make a roll-off install easier for the customer though. When we send you your roll-off kit, your roll-off is already threaded into the wheel, saving you a lot of the time that you'd be spending otherwise. But either way, the pinion install is easier and doesn't make you jostle around with your wheels. The placement of the pinion does come with some drawbacks though. The most glaring one being that with a pinion installed, you can't have the standard mid-drive motor. When most people get an internally geared hub, like a roll-off, they usually pair it with a motor like the Bufang or any of the pedal assist only motors that we carry, like a Bosch. But these are exclusively mounted on the front crankset, replacing the front gearing, which creates a conflict with the pinion. Pairing a motor with an internally geared hub gives you support for the extra gearing you're getting with your hub allowing you to go faster and utilize your extra gearing to the fullest. Which is why it can be frustrating finding a setup for the pinion. A solution to this problem is to not get a mid-drive motor at all, but to instead get a hub motor. A hub motor works because it isn't installed on a trike's front gearing like a mid-drive, but instead is threaded into the rear wheel and just goes right next to the gearing replacing the hub. This allows you to replace your front gearing with the pinion hub and still have a motor setup. This is great because with the 18-speed pinions 636% gear range, you may need a bit of extra help to hit those highest highs. 
The Pinion is a great option combined with rear hub motor equipped e-trikes like the Sunseeker E-Fat Tad, which is a factory CXS build, which comes stock with a 500 watt hub motor. Now you may be in a situation where you can't decide between a roll-off setup or a Pinion setup. Which would be the best for you? Well, let's compare these two hubs and maybe it will make your decision a little bit easier. First things first, if you're looking for gear range, the Pinion's coming out on top over the roll-off. If you're looking for variety, Pinion wins with four different gearing options. Pinions come in 6-speed, 9-speed, 12-speed, and 18-speed, compared to the roll-off's only model being the 14-speed. You have a lot more options with the Pinion if you don't want that many gears, but still want the convenience of an internally geared hub. Not to mention that Pinion is the internally geared hub with the highest amount of speeds with their 18-speed hub. To put that difference into perspective, the roll-off has a 526% gear range, whereas the Pinion has a 636% gear range on their 18-speed which is the ratio between the lowest and highest gear, meaning that the Pinion has a higher high-end gear than the roll-off. We can break down this gear range information even more with the data that the channel Cycling About provided in their video about this topic. Mind you, these numbers given are from testing these hubs on a bicycle, so the data may vary slightly for trikes, but it gives us a good look at the performance of these two in comparison. You can find a link to this video in the description. We can see the literal translation of what this gear range translates to in his data as Cycling About tested the roll-off and pinions low range in his video. They are the same at 3 miles per hour at 60 rotations per minute, but if we take a look at the high end, the roll-off has a top speed of 28 miles per hour at 100 rotations per minute, where the pinion has a top speed of 33 miles per hour at the same rotations per minute. Something with a higher gear range could potentially just be that it has a lower low gear and a slightly higher high gear but we can see on the pinion that all that extra gearing went to expand the high end for even more speed and resistance. But no matter how much higher of a gear range the pinion has over the roll-off, we can't overlook the fact that the roll-off is the most efficient hub in the game. We can prove this by taking a look at the speed range for each model and how much the rotations per minute increase per range. The pinion speed range for each gear increases at a rate of 9 RPM, which isn't bad by any means, but the roll-off increases by 11 RPM per gear. This makes the roll-off 4% more efficient than the pinion. Functionality-wise, the pinion will get you more range and a higher top gear at the end of the day. But if you want a more efficient hub, the roll-off pulls ahead with slightly more bang per gear. Besides functionality, there are some smaller differences as well. For more quality of life features, the pinion comes out on top. The pinion is quieter than the roll-off. When riding with an internally geared hub, there's always the internal noise of the gears twisting and turning. It usually is just a light whirring and clicking from the hub, but with the roll-off, it gets a bit loud when you're in a lower gear. The pinion does not have this problem though, and comes out on top for being a quieter internally geared hub. If you want the extra quality peace of mind, the pinion also has an extendable service warranty of up to three years on C-line pinions and a crazy five years for P-line pinions. Compared to a roll-off with a two-year warranty, you are getting a lot more insurance on your pinion's durability and quality. And another nice thing is that when you register your pinion for warranty protection on their website, they do a little extra. If your pinion, or by extension your trike, is ever stolen, once your pinion is in their database, tracking down your serial number is a lot simpler. They will even send you an email every year when it's time to change the oil on your gearbox. Speaking of oil changes, on a pinion you only need to change your hub's oil every year or 6,200 miles, which is half as much as you would for a roll-off, which is every 6 months or 3,100 miles. This decreases the amount of maintenance needed for your hub and makes it a little bit easier. When we compare these two hubs together, we can see that the pinion has a lot ahead of the roll-off in gearing, performance, and functionality, really making it the most high quality option for internal gearing that you can find. But what if you wanted to combine the unprecedented power of the pinion with the efficiency of the roll-off? You eliminate the hassle of any exposed gearing and get double the internally geared hub perks. Besides, they're both at opposite gearing ends of the trike, so why wouldn't you go all out? Well, that might sound like a smart idea, but once you get into the nitty gritty of gearing setups, it may not be the best option to go with for most riders. Both of these hubs are great, but when paired together, there are some technical hiccups that can get in the way and make this pairing a bit unreasonable. But before we get into the negatives, let's go into some positives and what combination would be the best to get. If you're wanting the most gearing possible while still being efficient, the 6-speed pinion in the front with the 14-speed roll-off in the rear is going to be the best. Out of all of the pairings you could do, this one is going to give you the best possible gear range to gearing efficiency. 
For most people, it will be way too much gearing, but for those who are really itching for the lowest lows and the highest highs, it's going to be an amazing combo. But once you start getting into the other pinion levels is when the cost versus benefit starts to not be as worth it. As you go to the higher gears like the 9, 12, or 18 speeds of the pinion, sure you'll be getting more gearing, but as the gear range gets higher, the more redundant your gear pairings will get with so many options. And the overall top gear that you will be getting becomes less and less noticeable. Like take a 14 speed roll off and an 18 speed pinion combo for example. Your gear range is going to be massive with tons of variation in between, but gears will start to be basically indistinguishable from the ones before. And once you get to your top gear compared to the six speed pairing options, there really isn't a noticeable difference. And now it's time to start asking yourself if the cost of the setup to the performance increase that you're getting is worth it anymore. The decision is up to you ultimately, but from our personal opinion, anything past a six speed pinion in front with a roll off is major overkill. And the only people that will get something out of a higher combo are the real gearheads out there. Now, some of you may be ready to walk away from this video knowing full well that for your type of ride, a roll off will be better because it's compatible with a mid drive motor. But what if I told you that there will soon be an option for opinion that could blow a roll off out of the water in that aspect too. That may sound impossible with the way that opinion is set up, but it will soon be a reality with the pinion motor gearbox unit. This product is not set to release in the US until 2025, so we don't have any hands-on information for you today, but we would be doing you a disservice by not informing you of this pinion that's going to change the game. The pinion MGU can be compared to the Roloff E14 electronic shifting system that we covered a couple months ago, but with some standout features. Unlike the E14 that just puts an electric shifter on the rear mounted Roloff and the front mounted electric motor, the MGU creates a front mounted hub that contains both the pedal assist motor system and a pinion 9 or 12 speed, depending on what model you get, as well as the electric shifter. It's truly all in one. From what we have heard, the MGU will be a base 600 watt motor with an 800 watt motor upgrade available as well. Also providing 400% max pedal support, making this one of the most powerful pedal assist motors in comparison to our current motor catalog. It also is equipped with smart electric shifting, like on the E14, letting you effortlessly and instantly shift your gearing, while also having an auto downshift feature when stopped so you can start from a good low gear without having to worry about manually shifting down. This will also allow you to shift without pedaling, which makes the whole ride experience even simpler. One thing it has that the E14 doesn't is the ability to automatically shift while cruising. While you aren't pedaling and just cruising downhill, the MGU will calculate your speed and what gearing you would be best to start once you pick up pedaling again, making sure you are always in the right gear. Besides these basic functionalities from Pinion, we haven't learned much else about the Pinion MGU, but it should be coming with a smartphone compatible display, which will give you a lot of the similar features included on the Bosch Nyon in the E14 setup, just smart powered through your cell phone instead of the standalone system. If you're interested in the Pinion MGU, we will be keeping you all updated with its release, so make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In conclusion, a Pinion is a high-end internally geared hub that is hard to cater to a specific type of riding, but it is the best of the best out of all the hubs and it will give you the most bang for your buck. But it comes with some drawbacks that just might not fit the riding style of a more casual rider. The Pinion will give you the highest gear range and the best feeling experience. So if you're a rider who doesn't want to depend on a motor and keep your gearing clean and simple with the best in the game, the Pinion is definitely for you and we fully recommend it. Especially for you gearheads out there looking for the highest highs and the lowest lows. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video could help simplify your search for if a Pinion is right for you. It's a difficult subject to get simple information on and I would know, I had to write this whole video. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like down below and let us know in the comments if there's any other in-depth videos that you would like to see on some of our products. If you have any more questions about the Pinion and if it's right for you, you can contact our sales team over at our email at trikes at utahtrikes.com. Thank you for watching and remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll see you next time. No momentum. Like, if you didn't believe us here, oh my God. this is highest. <laughs> this is highest gear on both. Like, bro is pedaling as fast as he can. Look how fast that rear tire is going. It was just like, I think he's like loosening the boom. <laughs> how was that? Painful. But I bet you could get going pretty fast in that thing. Yeah, downhill maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do that, Jan? I just need to... Well, the thing is the wheel doesn't have any grip, that's the problem. <laughs>
Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Now. Let's go! I turned on! Okay, I could have. He doesn't have any brakes anymore. <laughs>